So mold is basically just a naturally occurring fungus. So, and it has a very specific purpose in our ecosystem. It's basically used to compost and recycle organic materials. So I think of it as like nature's kind of cleanup crew, you know, it's breaking down all the organic plant matter, animal matter, and recycling that because otherwise we would just have a very polluted ecosystem. Um, So it actually has a very um, important purpose. And because it's naturally occurring, it can really be found anywhere. So when I when I tell that to people, I'm like, yeah, mold can definitely be found inside your home. You know, it's going to be found outside your home. It's going to be found inside your home. But it really only becomes problematic when we have high levels indoors as opposed to outdoors. Or maybe there's species growing inside that are not found outside. Because every time we open our door, our window, we go in and out of our homes, we are bringing in mold. And <laughs> I know for some people it's like, what? I can't get away. Um, but they, it is. Every time we, we open our doors or you know, these spores are clinging to our clothing and we're bringing it inside. And most of the time, those concentration levels of mold are really, really low. They're easy to manage. But when it's actively growing in our house course, those concentration levels increase. It doesn't have any type of competition from its natural environment. So it's going to lower the overall air quality and making us a little more susceptible to breathing it in. And that's really where we can start to have some problems because some mold is very opportunistic and it can be related to very specific health conditions. And it can also produce something called mycotoxins, which we're going to be talking about today and how those relate to, um, or there's impact on fertility 